Well, Alright, so the sun is coming up. Off. Dog is eaten. Yeah, I was gonna gonna say I can if she's lopping her head off and it's fairly safe since I have that powerful build capability being a Goliath, I'll just sling that head on my back and uh, it won't be any extra encumbrance and and we'll hoof it back to town. Basically, tying it to the uh, to your axe where it's hanging off of your axe over your strut thrown over your shoulder. It's like a poor boy's uh, poor boy uh, hobo with the bag over it's my your hobo bindle. All right, so you guys are take take about an hour, hour and fifteen minutes, no more encounters, uh, to town. I won't I won't do that to you. Uh, so you get back to town. Uh, town's starting to come to life. You know, you can see that you can hear the smithies out there banging and just hey, yeah, the town is starting to come to life. I mean, the the light, uh, the, you know, the lights coming up. The the sun's up. Where do you guys want to go? To the chicken lady. To to the ch <laughs> yeah. chicken lady first. To the chicken lady. To the bakery. You know yes. she's up. Let's Baking. get our uh, we'll get our reward for the ghost. It's time for the donuts. Mm -hmm. I want to give you some some nice little cheery music too. I think I might give you some some cheery music maybe. There we go. A little music for you while you're here in Red Larch. All right, so you head over to building number 14, which I think 14 was the... Yeah, 14 was the... What was that? Yeah, yeah 14 was the bakery. Yeah, that's absolutely. the ticket. Yeah, yeah. Amanda vs. Poultry. You said you're going to the, to the chicken coop or to the bakery? Chicken lady. Chicken. The chicken lady. Do you remember the chicken lady from uh, what was that? Kids in the Hall, the chicken lady or something like that. I don't know. You'd have to YouTube it. That's some crazy shit. But uh, Kids in the Hall were good. I used to love them. All right, so you get back to uh, Amanda vs. Poultry. Was hypnotized to be a chicken. <laughs> yeah, that was that was really good. The guy dressed up as a female chicken lady. Yeah, that was that was crazy. All right, so you uh, you run into Minnie. Uh, she's you know. Looks like she's just waking up out of bed. She's you know, starting to line some chickens up on logs and get them tied down and cutting their heads off. And you guys come up with this uh, onk egg. And she's just kind of uh, set back and uh, she says, Oh, top of the morning to you guys, ladies. Uh, I, I, what, what is that thing hanging off of your weapon, big ogre friend? That is an onk egg. An onk egg that... Oh, it's... Oh, I've never... What it, uh, it doesn't look like a ghost. No, this is for somebody else. The ghost we took care of. Oh, you took care of the ghost from the tomb? <laughs> and how, how, how do I know that uh, you've taken care of this? You can go to the tomb yourself and go take a look. <laughs> we can show the... We can show, show the, the sword. Yeah, there's... I don't think. Do we pick up the sword? That was the long sword. Yeah, I told you guys that a long sword yeah, drops. And... Yeah, but I think I, at least I, I we can like, show the uh, rings. Oh, it's not fancy. I just kind of put it back down. We sure. Have the rings. Okay. And the locket. Yeah, the locket. Okay. And she goes. Oh. Yeah, the locket. Ah, so you're tomb robbers also? Oh, oh, oh my! No, uh, we took this off of a goblin and a hope goat and a. Uh, half ogre that wanted to, uh, that was robbing the tomb. Oh, so you, oh, you ran into switching. robbers. So how did you know that there was a ghost there? Because we did had you to just... fight the ghost afterwards. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, you are strong, lads. And she kind of, you know, pats you on the shoulder, Theo. You, you are, you are some strong lads. Uh, how much do you think a job like this, uh, uh, w would, would cost a, a little old chicken farmer? I'm I'm no noble, you know. Ten, ten thousand ten chicken. Ten chickens. Ten, oh my goodness! I don't have ten thousand chickens. I wish to raise my own chicken army. 
<laughs> we'll have a chicken army in a wagon. She look up chicken raid a Cymru. Yeah. She kind of looks a little She kind of looks like she's kind of clueless on on what to to give you. So she uh goes into the one of the the houses, one of the, you know, one of the coops. And she comes back out. Well, the coop goes into the building as well, you know. And she comes back out uh, with a a small pouch, and she says that she hopes that that this will take care of of the bill and for your travels. I swear uh, to God, if there are Werther's butterscotch candies, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> oh, you don't like Werther's? Oh my no, God! No, no, he's just saying that all old ladies have hard candy, and then during. <laughs> During Halloween, they'll give away pennies. Uh, she get, she gives you uh, 20, 25 gold, basically. And also, she puts down a small wooden cask of pickled eggs and pickled feet for... She says, and these are for your ogre friend that I promised. He's a Goliath. And then she says, if you want, you can have a male and a female chicken. I'll the keep chicken them here. beginning to farm. And, and she tells you that she'll keep you, she'll keep the chickens here, uh, for whenever you get your own establishment, uh, you can basically come and get the chickens, and she'll give them to you. Or if you want the chickens to follow you around, you can do that too. I, I don't care, whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit there totally and have the chickens follow us. <laughs> that would be like, that would be kind of like bait, though. You know what I mean? That would kind of be like bait, don't you think? Well, for predators and other beasts. Always starts with at least one chicken. It's hard to go stealthy. Yeah. <laughs> it's up to you guys. We go stealthy? Well, while, while Theo's <laughs> taking care of business, I'm going to sit there and just stare this chick on as I eat all the pickled stuff. Just You're ow, just sloshing ow, through all ow, of ow. it. Right. Just chowing. <clears throat> yeah. You can also see some kids playing in, you know, where you guys are at. Up the road a little bit to the north, you can you can see some kids playing out on the road. You know they're basically throwing like a like a sewn ball together, throwing it to each other, tackling each other. All right, so you guys want to take the chickens with you or keep them there? It doesn't matter. Uh, she We're said taking the chickens. They'll, they'll be there. Okay, what so you take. Do? What are we gonna do with chickens? I, I gotta hear this. I gotta hear this. I'm telling you, I'm gonna train these chickens to be attack chickens. I'm going to find a wizard. Animal have handling. Cast, have them cast in large person on these things, handling. and you're gonna, you're gonna be riding one into battle. There, Raz. <laughs> you're gonna have a motherfucking chocobo. <laughs> chocobo. Oh my god. And I'm going to ride that cock, and it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I, I was waiting for that to come up. I was really waiting for that to come up. I was thinking a uh, choke the chicken was going to happen first, but whatever. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, go I'm going to have a cock in the mouth. It's well, going to be epic. I'll tell you right now, uh, Donk will allow those chickens to follow, but I can't guarantee their safety when I get a little peckish. But I'm dumb. <laughs> God. So as you as you guys uh, with your chickens in tow, uh, you come back out to the long road and you smell this horrible, horrible stench, and it, it, it's 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 definitely not Donk's armpits, uh, but to the south, you can see that there is a a tannery, and this is building number nineteen that's right below you guys. This tannery uh, is a warehouse that is just reeking of an eye-watering, throat-closing stench that's obliterating any other smell that you heard coming into the town as, you know, basically the wind has kind of shifted and it is, ba you know, there's all kinds of racks hanging up with skins, uh, blood drying, uh, dripping off of the skins. Uh, there's a, uh, a shack, lots of cutting utensils hanging. Uh, just It's definitely it's a tanner. So you can get your, your leathers there. Uh, also across the street from this, as you guys are kind of 
uh, you know, on the road, I'm going to give you guys a couple more locations. This location here that's across the street from the Tanner, this is uh, Valavo's Sundries. And there's a lot of, you know, outside of this establishment, there are a ton of uh, doors, barrels, old furniture, a bunch of wooden tools all leaning up against different barrels and the walls of the building. The building almost kind of looks like it's the size of a home, but there is a, a small tatted sign, and you guys kind of got to get a little bit closer to it to see it. And it does say uh, Valavo's Sundries, and, and, and basically looks like a, a place to get uh, uh, furniture. And, you know, the door's open, sort of like a, a double door on this establishment, and you can see that there, inside is just packed to the ceiling, from the floor to the ceiling, with, with just more, with more furniture. And you can see that there's a, a, a male human dragging chairs and stuff out onto the porch of this place, uh, basically getting set up for business for the day, it looks like. And this is a Val Valavo's Sundries. All right, uh, up a little bit. Let's. Sure. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was no, going to go say we should. Let's make our way to the. Uh, let's make our way to the constable, you guys, and yeah. um, sh show him the ears of the, uh, the ears of the bandits, so we can see what we can get. <clears throat> okay. One more place, you guys. Uh, Here's a, a quarry office here, as you guys are going by on the long road, walking towards the constable, which is in Building 11. Uh, there's this, there's this uh, building that's a, basically it's a plain square building, and it's basically shrouded in like a, uh, like a white dust. And there's a sign that says Dornan Quarry. And you can see that there's uh, several displays outside showing different uh, qualities of rocks, different types of rocks, different marbles and whatnot. And uh, that's pretty much uh, what you see. You see a lot of dwarven workers. Looks like they're getting ready for the day, getting their mining picks, their shovels together, and it looks like they're uh, fixing to, to go off to work. And one more place, which was... Are they uh, seeing hi-ho, hi-ho, off to work There's go? There's seven of them, actually, so yeah, there are. No, just kidding. All right, so th the last is this uh, small four-cluster... Oh, this, this uh, cluster of buildings here, number 20. This is... Uh, there's a, a large sign out there that says, Bethender's Storage. And this is where you, you know, this is four identical buildings, well built warehouses that are standing there, and, you know, made out of, a, you know, a, a stone type of wall, nice cinder roof, and it says Barthender Storage. Uh, rent space by the 10 day, month, or year on the sign. And it's a tall, you know, there's a, a tall, smiling man that's out there wiping a sign and, and greeting you and kind of giving you the, the uh, you know, wave. Top of the morning to ya! So you guys, I just wanted to give you guys a couple more locations uh, before you get what over was, to... Dave, what number, uh, what number was the quarry? The quarry is number, the quarry is number 12. The quarry is Dornan's, D-O-R-N-E-N. -E -N, Dornan... Yeah, I got that. Fine stone quarry. Okay, thanks. So, so now we're walking down the middle of this road heading towards the uh, constable, and everybody's coming out of their house. We have this giant onk uh, uh, head, this and trailing blood, ear necklace, giant ogre. We're all beaten up and tired. Mm hmm. I think it's Miller time. Yeah, you get over to you get over to we the butchery. Seen a Miller in this town yet? <laughs> but um, dum, but um, bum. 
you get to you get to the uh, the butcher and you do see uh, Harbuck. Harbuck is there, and he goes, "Where in the hell did you get that damn thing?" You know, he sees this thing it dripping to wake us up acid. in the middle of the night. So it that's that's what happens uh, when, when you get woken up. Ah, I see. We so don't we don't have any another problem you had. And uh, whoa, what what problem is this? This thing terrorizing the local populace. Oh, the that uh, that that beast there. What's it, what is that? Uh, what is that it's like a giant? An onkig. An onkig. I don't know. And what does it an onkig do? Acid. Roots, crops, hmm. and burrows. Hmm. Well, we don't have any any contracts out for for a creature like that. Uh, I do know that uh, there was some kind of crazy ghost story down there at the uh, at the chicken at the chicken coop. I I, 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 I don't even know. I don't even believe. Oh, you took care of that also. We're busy, busy little beavers. Many. Wow. I know that uh, over at the inn, uh, I know that uh, Kalissa, she's talking about some rock that's endowed with necromantic power, and uh, she's just, I, I like her, she's a great lady and all, but uh, you know she keeps talking about these undead and ghosts, not ghosts, but you know, just undead and zombies and you know, being out at the at Old Lance Rock, and there there's been nothing out there since I've been here, since my parents have been here. I, I don't know what she's thinking, but well, supposedly she has out something out there. Get some rest. Oh, so you're you're going? Well, you guys are you guys are busy. You're you're making names for yourselves here at the Red Larch. Names, dog. So what can I do for you today? I'm gonna uh, shuffle my two ears uh, off of the necklace and I'm gonna throw it down in front of the guy and I'm gonna say, we got bandits. Oh, you've already, yeah, you've already been compensated for the bandits that were sacking our caravans along the long road. And what, no. what, are, are, what are these bandits? New bandits in the New tomb. bandits. Uh, one was a half ogre, and the other one was a goblin, and you can tell from their ears they were you mean, vicious. You mean the old tomb to the to the, the, the southeast here of Red Larch? Yes, I, I. Hmm, let me let me look through my papers here, and he he's you know he's all bloodied, so you know, he's he's out butchering some meat that's hanging up outside. So he takes his knife and sticks it into the uh, into the butcher block. Takes a uh, rag, dips his hand in the water. You know he's cleaning off, cleaning off his hands, and takes his apron off. You guys go inside, and he uh, he's looking through these papers, and he says, "Oh, yeah, several months back there was a uh, something put out for for a, quite a few goblins and an, an ogre, and uh, all you found was just." Just one of these, one of these ogres, and and you got one ear, so one goblin, one goblin, one half ogre. Hmm. And we uh, traced them back to their camp, but they weren't uh, with any larger group. It was just the two. How oh, was it? All right. So wait, wait, wait. Donk needs to math it. <laughs> goblin plus half ogre. That's only one and one half. He says, "Oh, so yeah. Let me let me go into the yeah. He goes into the uh, into another room and and comes out and he goes, yeah. There's there's a payout for that as well, and he he gives out uh, another twenty gold, and that's uh, for everybody to divide. And he says, wow, you guys are you guys are making quite a living here at Red Larch. We're good at what we do. I, I can I can see that. It seems like a uh, seems like the surrounding areas is uh." Gonna be in in good shape with you guys, Ronnie. Are you, are you gonna be staying for uh, any any particular amount of time, or we might see what's just going on around here? Yeah, we got some things to do. As long as the money keeps flowing. Oh, oh. We got chickens. <laughs> Give our chicken <laughs> army to raise. Oh boy. 
Is is that how is that how uh what's her name? God damn it. Men Mendiver, what is her name again, pal? Oh Minnie, that's right. He says, Is that how Minnie paid paid he did she pay you in chickens? Yes. I did 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 you respond to that post that she had and and the singing sword in? Somebody came in here and thought right. that I put that in there, but I I didn't. Oh my good! About a ghost? Did you find a ghost? We did. At the tomb. Oh my goodness! And she well, she paid you, huh? Wow. I get, and then he kind of sees. She paid with a big fat cock. <laughs> this I I can see it. Chad. It's on the floor behind you. <laughs> All right, so he his name he, is Colonel Bok Bok. He starts to put his uh, he starts to uh, put his apron back on, and he says, he looks at you, Thea, in particular, and he says, "Aren't weren't you looking for some kind of ale? You you were talking Great about uh, ale. yeah, you were talking about your uh yeah the the market's gonna be back every every couple ten days." We have a market where a lot of vendors traveling from Waterdeep and Baldur's Gate, they come to our market down here in the southern end of town, and they they set up for a couple days and, and sell their wares. Uh, so I, I remember uh, I, I remember that you were looking for this Grog Festel and uh, Grog Festel, and I, I think that I, I saw last time or a couple couple uh, festivals ago. Down there in the market, uh, they had somebody had that. So I'm glad you stopped by. You you might want to check it out. Uh, the in the next couple days they'll they'll be setting up again. Usually about every every couple ten days, which would be basically 20 days. They have a like a festival down here in the the southeastern corner of of the town, and where like I said, where a lot of other villagers come in from. You know the surround, not only the surrounding farmsteads, but you know larger merchants from Waterdeep and Baldur's Gate. They come here too, so you might be able to get you some ale there, Theo. Sweet. When will be the next? Uh, when's the next? Uh, supposed to be coming through. In two days' time. Two days from today. Day. I gotta oh, mm -hmm. get up for work in six hours, so I need to. I need oh. To leave. Oh man, I'm so. Oh my God, it's it's midnight already. All right. Cool. Well. I thank you guys for playing, and we'll continue next week. So thanks, everybody, for playing.